Okay, today we're talking about removing the headliner on your Sprinter van. I have a 2011 passenger van. It's the standard roof. I have the AC unit, so mine is a little bit different, but for the most part, this is the way it's going to start out. Now when taking off your headliner, you should start from the front and as we'll see later in the videos, the way it overlaps. So. So beforehand to make this come down a lot easier is you got to make some room in here by loosening the, both A pillars on both sides. So I had to remove the, the door handle and the coat hook up here. There's a couple of snap-in and retaining clips so you can pop this thing kind of straight out. If you were to take the whole thing, just know that you have to lift up because down here, there's actually hooks that hook down. So you don't want to pull straight out on the bottom because you'll break those, you'll break those hooks. Okay, so there's some screws that are hidden here that hold this plastic housing to the other housing. Okay, so the headliner AC unit, as you can see, has these little tabs that slide in and then lock in themselves. So these tabs, you have to be able to slide them out. And these air conditioning vents just have little tabs that hold them in place. And under here, you'll find the screws. Okay, so that's the air conditioning, air cabin filter area. You see there's two screws here that are holding this assembly in place along with some clips along the side. Okay, so there's those clips here that I was talking about. They just kind of keep it in place. But other than that, it's these two little screws that hold this cover in place. Like I said, these just slide out of here. As you see here, they have these little tabs that lock into here. Okay, so here's the AC housing area that holds the all the plastic trims in place all it is is these screws here that actually screw to the frame and you got some two small screws here this little plastic plastic part will come out all along here there'll be some of these spacers and screws that hold this plastic piece in. Same thing with this big piece. It's got the little tabs here, tabs here, which indicate that it's gonna slide forward and lock itself in place. And I believe to get this in place, I don't think I'm gonna be able to slide it from back here all the way, cause it's gonna 
end up locking into itself. So what I think I'm going to do is is kind of wedge it in place, bend it, and get it in there and then slide it forward. Okay, so this is the headliner. Here are the clips. One side has clips. The other side doesn't. I'm adding just a little bit of extra insulation here. But basically, this is all the insulation that came with the van is this stuff here. It's kind of embedded in there. You can see it's like half an inch thick. So I decided to add a little bit more of this denim insulation. Now when you remove the headliner, you want to start from the very front and work your way back. The way these panels overlap, as you'll see here. So to put the headliner back on, I'm just working in reverse order. I put my rear panel up first, as you see, and this plastic piece, plastic trim, trim here. This plastic trim here just pops into place. It's got some fasteners behind here, here, and down at the bottom that pop into place. And as you see here, later on, it'll be fastened with some plastic grommets or plastic plugs. Same thing with up in here. And the only thing that holds this panel in place right now is this fastener here. And as you see here, it's kind of just open, ready to receive the other panel that's going to lay on top of here, which will be this one here. Okay, so here's the fingers I was talking about that go into the groove. As you can see, this will overlap this piece here as they clip in here. So if you tried removing just this panel first, it's actually, it actually has a fastener here that you wouldn't know about that you have to remove first because it's being hidden. And this one goes first, this one overlaps that one, and so forth. And all the way. Okay, so that's the second panel. As you can see, it's nice and flush. And same thing. This next panel just gets held on by this. And then the next panel will overlap on top of this hiding it. 